So, I'm working on the truck again, finally. Um, just showing you the rust in the cab here. I've been ripping up. There's plastic coating that's on the floor. And, I mean, a bone to pick with this. Look at this. There's no paint. That's bare metal. Like, maybe there's primer on it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess there's a little bit of primer or something on it. But, that's no good. Like, no wonder it's all rusted out here. There's not... There was no fucking paint on it, so... Anyways, what happened? I will explain this. There's a plastic cover that they put over it. And then they paint it after that. Which makes no sense. They should have painted it, primed it, then put the plastic cover down. Well, I ripped the plastic cover all up because I gotta get at this. So, there's one hole there. Which, it turns out... You can see my finger there. This is what it looks like on the bottom side. It's going to be a lot of work because i got to sit here and tap all this old undercoating off. And i got to look all over this cab. Make sure that there's no spots. Like, that side's great. That side over there, all I'm going to have to do with that is just a little bit of sanding and stuff and paint it. But this side... It's going to be fun. Because there's also a hole right there. Small focus. If you remember, I don't know if you would or not, but on my old Ranger, the white one, there was actually a hole right here, and there was actually a hole bit right here. Because it goes right along the seam. So, I'm going to weld it, and I think I'm probably going to weld it from... I don't know if I should weld it from the bottom side like that. I don't know how to even get at it. So I was thinking I'd probably end up welding that patch right over it up here. Right there. Just go over everything with it. And then once I get the bottom, I'll fill in, body fill everything, make it look good, and then rust paint it. Same with this. I was going to go over and paint this today, but I don't think I will because i got a lot of work to do here. So, might get at that, might not. I also got, I got the parts truck now, right, so I got to start figuring out where that clutch is going to set in there, where it bolts up. And I got to take off the automatic shifter and got to make that brake pedal narrower. I don't know what else. It's endless, but not complaining, don't mind it. And I also got interior paint. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm going to paint all this black. The door panels, um, hopefully the back door panels, all the way around, the roof. It's actually really dirty, so I'm sure painting it wouldn't hurt. I was thinking I'd like to paint this all black, too. Not a fan of the gray, but I don't know what it would turn out like. It's just cheap interior paint, but I don't know. We'll put around with that later on. Then i got to figure out what cluster this is going to get probably not going to have the ranger cluster it's probably going to be either the older style ranger cluster or else the one out of the jetta so this also needs a radio put into it that's just the the fun stuff this door also needs fixed actually that looks like it yeah that one don't shut right you could actually hear the noise of this door really bad not quite sure why that doesn't shut right. Something in that bottom latch, I'd say. Oh well, we gotta figure that out. Let's see if I can get that shut tight. And then I also gotta get this door. You can see there's play in it, it's been open so many times. So gotta fix that too that's why it just kind of sits like that yeah gotta paint that all up too because there's bare metal frame well the frames come along pretty good actually the back sections all done but front bumper um, I've got this done redone I should say up to there a little bit further but I noticed some spots there I had to touch up and I'm working on the front right now I gotta crawl under there after I find my scraper I keep losing the fucking thing and I gotta scrape that all down and 
clean it up with paint thinner and wire brush and then later on today I'm gonna get a coat of primer onto this and then that's the the major parts done really because then I'm gonna take the black paint just like that it's like tire I'm gonna go over the whole thing with that and once I get that all done then I'm gonna get the undercoating gun out I actually just picked up this air compressor it was only $60 and it's six gallon I believe or five gallon one or the other five gallon and uh, works pretty good actually I went to drain the oil out of it and now I gotta put oil back in but I don't know what oil to put in it I found a bottle of compressor oil and it's like 20 bucks so I didn't want to spend that but some people say 20 weight some people say 30 weight so it doesn't say anywhere it just says top the oil off well thanks a lot that helps but anyway you see I dumped some of the water out look at that so it's coming works pretty good it goes up to 130 pounds I believe gauge doesn't really work the best but it's what you get and then I found that cord on the side of the highway so I was like fucking right hooked that up made a Jimmy Ray dent on there so I could use it on this it's actually off a transfer truck and so I got that got some attachments in there so I'm gonna be able to run that. And then I'm gonna undercoat that son of a bitch, the whole thing everywhere. And the back section. I'm gonna connect it all into one, hopefully this week. But I've been saying that for the last two weeks. It's always something, so. And as far as the front of that goes, you can see I haven't even touched it down there. Well, it's all undercoated real good. So I'm thinking I'll probably leave it. Just undercoat it again. I'll paint so far down and then just undercoat the rest because those control irons and all that, they're still in great shape and still undercoat it really well, so I don't think it's worth painting them. Just the frames what I'm concerned about. So that's that and once I find my scraper I'm gonna get to work. Alright, so this is the end of the day here and I got this part of the frame done. Shut my radio off. Listen to the same music all day. Friggin' radios. Anyway, I got it all painted. Uh, probably have to do a second coat, a few spots. But uh, I did the best job that I could. It's starting to dry in places, so that's good. Put it on quite heavy. And I just started to put the paint the back of it black here, so. This is just the connection between that and that. So by doing that, I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow or next day I can connect it and I can have one frame, one whole frame sitting here. I have to make room for it, obviously, move some stuff, but I have to get the rear end under it too. And it'll be starting to look like a frame again, which would be pretty nice. So that's my plan right now. So. Hopefully tomorrow I could get the maybe a coat of the black on the frame. Probably have to do a second coat on the front though, so might be able to get it black up to there. And then uh get that section on there. We'll see anyway, so progress. Slow but surely. Anyway guys, 